Hello everybody and welcome to this show and tell. Let's call it show and tell. Because today I'm going to show you and tell you my initial thoughts about this Yongnuo YN360 light stick, light saber, someone calls it light saber. So without further ado, let me introduce you to the YN360. So you have already see the short spec list that uh, I've shown you during this little B-roll. Uh, so you know that this is a really jam-packed uh, bad boy of a light. It costs, uh, I believe, around seventy to eighty dollars, depending on where you bought it. But where you bought it, and uh, I must admit that I've been playing with it uh, for maybe a week, and I decided that uh, this is a really cool light, but. It's not really that, you know, efficient. You cannot light up the, the whole room with one of those lights. Even with two, you cannot do that. Uh, because in uh, like 320, uh, like 3200 or 5500 Kelvin, uh, this is uh, a pretty bright light, uh, I'm gonna admit. But when you turn it to like RGB, it's not that bright. Well, you've seen the spec list. It has uh, 40, I believe, uh, RGB cap capable LEDs. And it, have, uh, and it has uh, 320 regular uh, bicolor LEDs, so, well, that's kind of obvious. Uh, it has a CRI of uh, 95, which will give us a really nice color rendition, which is really cool for video. And, uh, by the way, I forgot to mention that in the spec list in the B-roll, uh, this thing is also does not flicker when you shoot it, you know, when you use it, for example, in a music video for, like, cool effects or whatever. Uh, so... Let me just tell you my thoughts about this thing. Uh, after playing with it uh, for a week, uh, it has uh, it's really nice light, but it has a couple of minor inconveniences that uh, really bother me, so to say. So the first one is uh, like when you try to dial in your color in RGB mode, you have to dial in uh, a, perc a percentage value. So uh, regularly, if you like. Uh, take a color picker in Photoshop and, uh, you know, you will get, uh, you'll get a hexadecimal uh, color. Uh, and uh, here you cannot just uh, input any hexadecimal thing, you just have to dial in from 0 to 100% of red, green and blue respectively. And uh, by mixing all of those channels, red, green and blue, you'll have to just guess uh, which combination gives you the right color, the color you want it. So I actually had to Google some uh, websites for, you know, conversion of hexadecimal uh, units uh, of color to like percentages of this uh, red, green and blue. And uh, I believe I will uh, let you know and I will uh, give you a link in the, in the description below with this website that converts, you know, hexadecimal to percentage. So uh, this was kind of a pain in the butt. And uh, the other thing that's been bothering me, it's the app. Uh, the app is uh, completely in Chinese. So uh, you, that's not actually the problem of uh, the app. So it's really straightforward, uh, like many channels. You click like one button and uh, it automatically connects to the device that is currently on. Uh, but the problem is that uh, the app cannot handle uh, more than one light at a time. So I bought two of those, two of these lights, light sticks, and uh, I tried to connect the app to both of them simultaneously and it didn't work. Uh, so it connects uh, like to the one, only one of the on, uh, only one of two, and controls only the one of two. So that's kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, so, uh, but those are the only like my complaints about this light, because otherwise, for the price, for the like seventy to eighty dollars, uh, this uh, this thing is packed with uh, a lot of uh, a lot of stuff, useful stuff. It is by color. Uh, with a really nice color rendition of uh, 95 plus or 95 and uh, it's battery powered sony npf batteries like everybody has them and you can also plug them uh, to the wall socket if you have the correct like pin or whatever and uh, it's mountable on any stand tripod monopod or whatever so it's really versatile you can you know, like uh, toss a couple of those uh, in your back pocket or in your backpack uh, excuse me and, uh, you know, travel with it, uh, use maybe for music videos, for effects, like maybe a key light, a hair light, uh, really nice. And uh, really, 
a great light for the price. So I uh, highly recommend it actually. Uh, and uh, for the last thing today, I'm going to show you, you know, a couple of portraits of my favorite model myself uh, that I took using these lights. I just mounted them uh, on uh, two light stands and, you know, kind of experimented with the kind of lighting and kind of portraits that I will receive. And uh, so right now you're about to see the portraits that I've taken. And otherwise, that's all for today. Great lights, highly recommended. Uh, check out the link for the colors uh, down in the description below. And uh, thank you again for watching. Not again, just thank you for watching. And I will see you in my next video.